Hey guys and girls, Anthony 4 before Diesel. We're going to give you a quick bit of information on these Prado and Hilux front wheel bearings or front hub assemblies. Um, a whole heap of this is going to be maximum information in one, and this is why. Just recently, uh, I suppose you know this information here is going to be for everybody, but it's going to be especially for the people in Australia because we can supply, we can replace or repair you know replace your front wheel bearing your front hub you can come and pick one or two up and you know fit them yourself and we send them australia wide so a lot of this information is going to be for everyone but it's going to be informative anyway because the first thing i'm going to tell you we've got a playlist called front wheel bearing okay and it's all related to this sort of information there's approximately 20 videos in there at the moment this one will probably go in there making it 21 there's about 800 people that have watched that playlist okay so people gathering information about when the front wheel bearings get noisy and we had one in just the other day that both the front wheel bearings had play they were really noisy driving it so we just like to share the information but you can buy them off me you can get me to replace them or not doesn't bother me i'm busy anyway i'll just give you the actual information so you know what to expect and right now what we're going to do is quickly demonstrate why some of the components you use new and used and what the problems are and that sort of thing but before we do once again if you like i'm going to add in a lot of some other footage from some videos we've put up on our um, facebook page that's called the prada hospital it's called the prada hospital it's mainly pradas but a lot of hiluxes used to be more hiluxes we can only do what we can do right so we do have some other four before there's a workshop um you know recommended repairers if you if you know what i mean you know workshop partners so we send some clients there depending what work it is this sort of replacement stuff we'll do it this Prada hospital sometimes we may even do a hilux here sometimes especially if it's our own you can have a look at the wheel bearing drama and the drive shaft drama in another place called our hilux or our 2013 hilux so there's a few playlists there check those out now so these wheel bearings these are four hilux ones we've put together if you're in australia you can go and have a look at the Prada hospital page and there's a series of really short videos they're time lapse just quickly going through there's a heap of work involved there's hours of work involved from the time we have to obviously order these parts from different suppliers receiving those checking unpacking um, cleaning preparing whatever um, fitting seals to bearings we do the little rtv thing we don't have to do that the seal is really professionally installed probably the best you're going to get anywhere um, it may seal it may not but we're suspicious that it doesn't that's why we do that rtv thing probably more details in another video so i'm not going to go on about it the big one i wanted to say here was i wanted to let you know about that playlist because there's all it for the people that want info it's all there i don't need to go over it again also the prada hospital page if you you know check that out whether it's a prada or a hilux unfortunately you only see that page i believe if you're in australia so um, it's a you know Australian Facebook page type thing, so you only see if you're in Australia. Um, so there's plenty of videos here. Check out that playlist if you're not in Australia. Appreciate your support. Okay, so we started doing this years ago because obviously, eventually, with a non, it's a it's a bearing that you can't maintain. You can't remove it, repack it, and all that sort of thing like we used to be able to do with other bearings. Okay, it's it's no maintenance. It's a sealed unit. It's when it fails, you replace it. So failure you know you can hear a bit of a noise sounds like the front diff really in a Prado grinding away something you get a bit worried well that's usually going to be your front wheel bearing um, you should check for play at every service or anytime the wheels are off the ground check for play in those bearings a um, couple of issues so the bearing is an assembly okay so I should have kept one of those separate let me think if I got one uh, well I have actually but I'm not going to bother getting it because it generally looks like this it hasn't got the o-ring it hasn't got the bolt it hasn't got the seal on it it hasn't got the hub in it the bearing is that assembly there right that's not the hub that is the bearing okay so you need the bearing you need the seal you need the o-ring you need the bolts you need the hub this is the hub what we're calling the hub this is a hub assembly now because we've put it together this is for a hilux for the hilux it can after this it either has a spacer or an abs sensor and then a retainer which can basically be gently sat on over there and just gently 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 with a hammer go around tap 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 on the retainer and it'll pop down and once it's on it'll be loose so don't worry about that that's standard once you talk up your wheel bearings whatever it's 235 newton meter check that don't trust me because i always say the wrong numbers and things and all that i think it's 235 newton meters anyway it's important that that's done okay it, it can't be just rattle gun close enough or oh, it's on the second click or third click that's what we do no don't do that that's not how it works it's torque wrench for this one 
I don't care if it's 220 or 240 really, but it needs to be very close to there. That is the design preload for the bearing, and that may be what finishes um, squashing this hub and bearing together correctly. Do you know what I mean? You can't be overpressing it on the press, right? So we, also, we use all new components, right? It's maybe the expensive way of doing it, but when you look at it, you're not usually gonna do this for at least 200,000 Ks, which for most people could be even 10 years or longer. It's a long time, it's not a lot of money over the time. Do it right, avoid the poor man pays twice. Hey, that's another playlist we've got, poor man pays twice, check that out, right? So this is the, this will be the poor man paying twice, right? So I'll give you the bad news straight away, because some people think, how much are these, how much are these? These are 500 bucks a piece, right? Each sale pairs a thousand dollars plus delivery, 1067 to your door, express post if you're in Australia for the pair, right? That's the current pricing, could change. Um, these are more complicated, as I said, there's more components, there's more cleaning, so these are Prado ones, they're just in a bag, they come out, they're clean, give them a quick white, lube them up, and they go together. It's still time consuming, but these, if you watch the videos, if you see those on the Prado Hospital, you can see. Mate, I'm there, I reckon, about at least five minutes each one of these hubs. It feels like a 20-minute job to do four of those, cleaning up that crap. There's a little bit left there. I'm not worried about that. That helps with um, preventing corrosion and rust. Same on the other side and where the dust cap sits. So I'm not too worried about cleaning that. I've said in other videos, you may want to spray a little bit of uh, just sit it just like that or the other way around and just make sure you're not spraying anything into the bearing. But in the hole here so it runs out the other end and just with a toothbrush give those splines a clean if you like have a look at it there's not usually any issues i'm just saying check it out you may want to clean it and lube it before you install it you may want to clean this side as well we clean the area where the seal's got to run and make sure it's sealed which leads me to the poor man paste wash so we've given you all the bad news that's with everything if you want to if you want to reuse your uh, spacer and your uh, stuff like that, we can leave these off and leave them just like this. We haven't installed those yet because we don't know the next person that orders if it's ABS or not. Most are ABS. We could just supply them all ABS. I don't think it'd cause any issues, but as I've said in other parts of other videos and whatever, but we haven't done that yet to know. So you can let me know if you like. Of course, all the stub and everything's the same and all that. So it's obviously going to be a non-issue, but it seems a bit wasteful as well. I'm happy to let you reuse those. You can just gently on your old ones, just gently with a flat blade, work your way around slowly. Don't force, don't do it in a hurry. Don't bend and wreck your ABS sensor. It would be difficult to do that. Um, but just take your time and do it slowly so that, and then you can save a few bucks on those. I don't know, what's it gonna save you? I don't know, it's not a lot. You know, we get them pretty cheap. It's probably gonna save you 50 bucks off the pair or something like that. So it's gonna be a thousand, it's gonna be, I don't know, maybe it's gonna be 990 or something like that. Anyway. That's up to you to decide. So that's one way you can save some money. That's not available on the Prado. The Prado's got the sensor in the bearing. It's a different bearing. So you can't just mix and match all these parts and hubs. They're all different. The only things that are kind of the same is the bolts, the O-rings, and the three seals. There's, there's three seals in total and the bolts, right? But they're not exactly the same because there's different part number listings. And as I've said in other videos, we use what we see as the best parts. I don't care if it's a Prado part number on a Hilux if it's available at the time. And sometimes if it's not available, we use the Hilux. You know, it's not what's available. Do you want to wait months and months for your bearings? I don't know. So sometimes it's a matter of using what's available. Why do we use all new parts? Well, I like new, the, the, I like these new for a couple of reasons. A, you get new studs in there that are worth about eight bucks each. People over tighten them and sometimes they do break off and stuff like that and yours could be about to break. So if you've purchased the vehicle at 100 or 150 or 200, it's a good opportunity to freshen up and know the history, especially of front wheels, that the studs aren't about to break off. Now, there's a seal here or here, you can see we've installed and there's a rubber lip on it that seals against the back of that hub. It rubs right about here. Now, I can hopefully you can see where I'm leading to and I'm leading to saying, well, if you wanna save more money, Guess what, yeah, we can reuse this, but then we're gonna charge you to, because normally they're rubbish. This is an old Prado one here, right? Um, it's been out in the weather for a couple of weeks, whatever. Not in rain, but you know, out in the weather. So it's what it's, and there's a bit of surface rust inside there. The back of this looks pretty normal, but the point is once you split it apart, it costs labor, right? You end up with this, right? Then we've got to clean it up with some wet and dry. This one I've cleaned up, but you can still see the surface rust and they all vary how they are. So we're using yours. Are we using some we've got there? Oh, we're not happy with this one, so you want us to split another one? So we split, this is a Hilux one, but it could end up like that, it could look like that. It's just random what you've got underneath there, right? It's just random. Now, if you want me to split five hubs to get you a good one of those, it's gonna cost you more for me to give you a good one of those than it is a brand new one. So, poor man pays twice, no, not here. That's why I'd rather not do this or this. This one's been sitting on the shelf for a while. If you're into cheap, no problem. Hey, guess what, probably for about, 
If we don't supply that, if, if I give you this one off the shelf and you're happy with, you know, a bit of rust and a few lines in it, a bit of surface corrosion like that, and you're not worried about that, hey, guess what? Your bearing's going to be fixed. The seal's probably going to work, but the seal's trying to seal against a rough surface like this. Not a nice, new, clean, smooth machine one like that, right? So it's your call. What are we going to save you? I don't know. We've got to charge your labour to split the hub because we're not just getting parts out of a box. We've got to, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to take a ballpark S here. Maybe 350 Right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna split the hub, so that means we can use the old bolts. If you want, we can even give you the old O-ring, right? Here we go. Here's cheap, mate, this is cheap. That, that looks pretty good still, doesn't it, right? So there you go, we'll give you the old bolts, the old O-ring. We'll give you a new bearing, a new seal there. We won't give you the seal on the back, that's expensive, that's this one here, it's about 80 bucks worth. Right, so here, yeah, I know they're a rip-off, but you know what? Once every two, 250,000 K, so who gives us stuff, right? Do you wanna be the poor man pays twice? This video's gone long enough, what else can I tell you? I've told you where the playlists are. Like, subscribe, turn the bell on. Bada bing, I don't know what else I can tell you. I'll put this video up a few places. Um, this is cheapskate stuff, poor man pays twice. This is the way to do it. You do it every, my recommendation about every 200,000 Ks if you're traveling Australia. Um, if you're doing a lot and lot and lot of off-road, like your vehicle parks up and um, it doesn't do a lot of, you know, it doesn't go to the shops and back, work and back and normal running around like most people's vehicles do. I suppose like our 120, it doesn't do a lot of that stuff. It does trips, it's out in the high country, it's down the border track, it's over in road beaches, it's out on the Simpson, it's, you know, over in WA out at Steep Point, it's up Cape York, it's uh, going across the Gibb River Road or up the Tanamon, you know what I mean? It's, when it's out there, it's doing the trips. And for us, one of these, we started to get a little bit of play in it at 130,000 Ks, right? So the first set lasted about 2,250. That was with normal people towing caravans, traveling a bit. There was a bit of mud stains and whatever. So it had been, we've had a couple of services in Broome and this sort of thing, but with my sort of use, they're not gonna last as long is what I'm trying to say. So if you're just a local person that just goes to the shops and back and work and back, you don't go off road, you don't even need to worry about this until you've got a problem, okay? But if you're a traveler, I recommend about every 200,000 is the magic number that's consistent, it's been going on for years where people have gone, you know what, and they, I need wheel and I go, how many Ks? And they go 180, or they go 220, or they go 209, whatever, it's very close to 200 is really common. And I know there's plenty of vehicles out there with more Ks that have, uh, haven't had them done and you're lucky. So I'm not worried about arguing about that, good luck to you, I'm just telling you. I'm here Monday mornings from 8 a.m. waiting to receive that text message. I'll send you the info, you can send the payment, I can send you some of these hubs. When this video comes out and you look at people see all these videos, a lot of people are gonna buy these, unfortunately. I'll say unfortunately, because it's just gonna create, I've just caught up by pressing these together and then they're all gonna be sold again. I don't know why I do videos sometimes anyway, because I'm trying to help and make some, anyway, it all, it all adds up, whatever. The point is, it doesn't bother me if you come to me or not. By doing so, you get professional, you get the right parts, professional. I've done the hard work for you. All you've got to do is unbolt the old one and believe it or not, that's the easy part. I've done the hard part for you. If you didn't know what you're doing and you're trying to be a cheapskate, you're going to pull this off the car, you're going to try and split this apart. It might work out okay, it might not. You're going to reuse this. That's going to be the surface. It's not going to last as long as the water's going to get past. And it's a poor man pays twice. Anyway, guys, I hope you get it. I'm going to add on some other footage, maybe one or two other bits of video after this. So I hope you liked it so far. Thumbs up, subscribe, bell on, check out those posts on the Prado Hospital. Shows you a little bit more of what's involved. And of course, it's all in that playlist anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Enjoy. So, a quick bit of information on these Hilux front bearings and hubs. Um, they're actually a real pain in the quarter. You know, um, instead of being in bags where you can just take the hubs in and out, they're wrapped in plastic. They've got this anti-rust. It's like a grease. It's I don't know if it's a type of grease that's dried up or something, but it's crap stuff. It's terrible to clean off. You can clean it off. You just got to use some really good either brake cleaner or carby cleaner, something that really dissolves it up. So. We have to carefully remove this. Obviously, cutting that with a knife, you've got to be careful we don't damage any of the surfaces. So you've got to take, it's time, even more time consuming. All these components cost about the same on the Prat on the Hilux. The Hilux has got extra components and extra work because it's a pain in the quilt, like I said. But we just keep them the same price, right? So keep it really simple. Anyway, what we've got to do now for these Hilux few that we're doing is unpack these, clean all that. We clean this side basically, because that's where the bearing goes. We don't worry about that side, it's generally not too bad. It's just a rust prevention coating. If you see any high spots, just get a blade and maybe give it a clean, but your wheel's gonna squash straight over that. And that little bit in there is gonna help the dust cap seal onto that hub. So I don't really wanna clean that. 
check inside your spline if there's a bit too much you know it might be hard for you to slide it in it, it, look we haven't really had that issue but just saying it could happen so once you receive your assembly from us you may want to just sit it there and just maybe get a little bit of spray and a toothbrush don't spray it anywhere around in the bearing and whatever but just in them if you set that on a rag on the bench like that you know just like you know put the rag there and set that like that and the spray only went in there it's only going to run straight at the bottom into the rag and you could just get a toothbrush just give it a bit of a clean if you want in those spawns directly before you fit it and spray some maybe inox crc type stuff spray grease or something just to so it can slide in and out if you happen to be putting new shafts just uh slide them in and out a bit once you've done it before you put it all together just to make sure it all slides smoothly we're going to get all unpacked and get all these ones together like we did the prado ones These Hilux ones are a little bit different because they stick through the end. You've got to make sure it's clear the opening. So we've got to split this a little bit, make sure there's support at the inner side of the bearing so we don't damage it. It's not as easy as it looks and obviously because it pushes all the way through. So we'll get these four pressed on. So yeah, that's the Hilux ones. They're a pain in the butt. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do them. Of course, we still provide that rear seal. Um, there's two other components. There's either an ABS sensor or a spacer that goes here and a retainer over the top. If you're looking to save a few bucks uh, and you want to get these bearings from me, you can say, mate, I'm happy to reuse my ABS. Look, it comes off pretty easy, I've got to tell you. We've done a bit of R&T the Screwdriver, gentle lever, get work around slowly and that ABS sensor and retainer will just gently come off. Don't bend it and damage it, otherwise you're in trouble. Since we're doing everything else new, every two, 250,000 Ks, we generally just supply it with, we install the ABS sensor, the retainer or the spacer in the retainer. To be quite honest, I haven't done this, but I believe that even if we put the ABS on there and it was a non-ABS, the cars are the same, nothing's gonna be in the way or anything. You just have an ABS tone wheel, it's not gonna do anything, you know what I mean? I don't think the ABS sensor's any dearer than the spacer that goes under the retainer. Anyways, that's just about it. Now, don't take any notice of any of the part numbers you've seen because we use some Prado stuff on Hilux, Hilux and Prado, blah, blah, blah. For example, the boxes these hubs came out of, they're useless to us. They go in the bin and we reuse the Prado hub boxes with a Hilux one. So don't go by any of the numbers. We often repack with all our kits. We often repack stuff into different parts. You'll, you'll see all sorts of bags and boxes and part numbers and whatever. It's not necessarily what you got. You get the best available. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it's been helpful showing you uh, some of the things we do and the work involved getting these together. These are the highlights ones. They're not done yet, but we're going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. See you. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our um, stage one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever it is of getting these Prado and Hilux hubs together. Normally we do them in bigger lots, but I thought it was a good number to do for a video. Uh, we've got eight Prado ones here and four Hilux ones. We're yet to continue to finish those. It is quite time consuming, believe it or not. That's what you're paying for. A lot of expensive parts and all the time to check it, get it all together professionally with a lot of experience to make sure it's right the first time for you. And still at a lower price than you can even buy the components from your genuine Toyota dealer or whatever the case may be. So, And it's already pressed together for you, delivered to your door. If you want more information, I reckon we've got a playlist on that on our YouTube channel. What's it probably called? Prado Front Hubs or Hums Front Bearing, something like that. Just have a look. There's probably about 30 subheadings under playlists and it's got all those information videos related to those headings. So the last thing we've got to do now is we've got to cut up some extra cardboard to put into these boxes. We reuse them, but of course, 
these are a bit over five kilos so if they get thrown around they could rip the box so what we generally do is put an extra piece of cardboard in the bottom where the studs are going to sit right kind of like it's going to sit like that bang but we want extra cardboard there we're going to have a bit of extra cardboard on top just to make this hide up it's of course going to go back in the bag to help it seal keep it sealed from moisture to prevent any uh, corrosion or whatever in the short term corrosion or rust which probably isn't going to happen depending whereabouts you are that sort of thing but we put it back in the bag and butter bing um the box will get all resealed and that's job done thanks for watching And there it is, almost done. Uh, the boxes are closed up. Obviously, uh, once we've uh, finalised the order, more tape goes onto the box to make it stronger because you throw these around, they're just going to tear the boxes apart. They weigh over five kilos each. Um, that leaves us with about 30 of these on the shelf at the moment, so enough to do at least 15 Prados. So you can bring your vehicle in and get your front hubs, wheel bearings replaced. You can come and pick some up, or we send them anywhere in Australia. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. There's quite a bit of work that goes into it, just wanted to demonstrate it's not just uh, a few parts, it's things getting unpacked, checked, put together professionally and repacked, quite time consuming, quality parts, genuine parts, and the reason I started doing this was to help you a solution for the problem. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.